young and old, carry all they can. Fighting between Congolese soldiers and M23 rebels in the east of the country is pushing people like this mother of five into the town of Sake. She was driven out of her village of Shasha, captured by rebels just days ago. It was very difficult for us to stay in our village. Rebels arrived and there was heavy fighting between the rebels and the army. We've been here since Monday without food, money or anything. The only way for us to survive is to now beg for food on the streets. Many sit, too scared to try and leave the town. That's already encircled. Sake is one of the last towns before Goma, North Kivu's capital, and capturing it would deal a logistical blow to Congolese soldiers. It was last taken by the rebel group in November 2012. Thousands of UN peacekeepers watched on as M23 fighters took control of the city from the army. Alfonso is sheltering in a school in Sake. Thankful he and his family could make it out of his neighboring village alive. We left our home without any possibility of carrying anything with us. M23 rebels were shooting at people. It was very difficult for us to march on the road under a hail of bullets before reaching here with my family. While the UN peacekeeping presence in the country is being phased out over the course of this year, the Under Secretary for Peace Operations says they're closely monitoring the situation. Our attention at the UN is on what's happening now in the North Kivu province, mainly in Goma. We are determined to increase our work. We are in discussion with local military officials on a joint and coordinated response. This resurgence of M23 rebels is estimated to have displaced more than a million people from their homes, with no end to the fighting in sight. Mike Lappel, Al Jazeera. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.